What's up guys, I'm gonna hold y'all up real quick. You guys read the title. This is how to install Linux distribution on any USB flash drive. You already know, get your computer on, go to google.com, have your flash drive ready, have it formatted and cleaned, and search your USB on the side. You wanna to go to google.com and you wanna type in, you wanna type in pendrive.linux.com and you wanna download their USB installer. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Once you hit up Google, I'm going to type in pen drive Linux. I mean, it's the first one. And then you want to click on this right here the universal USB installer. Scroll all the way down. Oh, no, my fault. That's 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 not what it looked like. <laughs> that's what it looks like. <laughs> Get the click yacht right here. Download USB installer. You know what I mean? It's gonna come up. Depending on your computer, be going into the downloads. So you know what I mean. Check here for it. And then what you want to do is basically just gonna open it up, allow it access, hit agree, and then here we go. This is uh the interface, you know what I mean? So this is uh what we're gonna be using to put on there. And depending on what uh Linux system you got, I mean uh <laughs> depending on which Linux operation you're using operating system you're using. I'm going to be using the Lubuntu because it's lighter than Ubuntu and it's going to be going on the Mac Mini. Lubuntu is supposed to have all the functionalities of Ubuntu but it's supposed to be a lighter distribution. So I figured it'd be alright on it. And now technically we would download a 32-bit for this for the stock version but I do have the upgraded T7200 chip right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the 64 bit. You know I mean? Alright. <clears throat> so the next step, you know what I mean? Get your, uh, get your Linux system downloaded. I'm using Lubuntu because it's light. So I went to Lubuntu on Google. And um, I'm going to be downloading the 64 bit. I mean for that. And once it's downloaded, we're going to go over here, select our distribution. Try to that thing be buggy sometimes. Here we go, we got Lubuntu. You know what I mean? We was going with Mint and everything else. We make a selection, but we going with Lubuntu today. So we're going to select Lubuntu. Okay. ISO file. What would have been ISO file? Hey, hold on, y'all. <laughs> Try to find this. Oh, here we go. That was weird as hell. I always get something funny when I go to do stuff. I right, see so y'all check that thing. If you check it, it'll show like every single ISO. You know what I mean? Then it'll come up. You know what I mean? And then there go our, our, uh, our 
drive, you know what I mean? And my fault. Step through would be to select our drive, you know what I mean? We got this drone right here, our Sandy. Check out Sandy. So we got Sandy selected. Um, this is optional, but I clicked it. I'm going to format that drone. Make sure it's not your hard drive. Make sure it's the USB selected. This file size, I made a thousand. You can leave it anywhere from like, I mean, you can really leave it to 300, but I just left it to a thousand. We'll see how I go and hit create. One quick thing to add, persistent means that um, like if if you wanted to take this USB out, you know what I mean, and keep if you wanted to work, <clears throat> if you wanted to save any files, you know what I mean, if you didn't want to download the actual operating system onto a computer and just keep it on a USB, basically making like the USB your portable computer, you know what I mean, then. By increasing the persistent file size, like that gives you, I mean, as much storage as you want. And I'm gonna be using that basically as a persistent file. It's small, but for right now it'll do. And this is that Lubuntu installer. This is what happens if we plug it into our computer and tell our computer not to boot from the hard drive. I have it unplugged anyways, but I told it to boot from this first. So you see me turn it on, you get that sexy little ThinkPad, and we'll go in and we get Lubuntu.